Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the ever elusive topic of how to add white borders to your Instagram photos. Before I begin sharing any of the apps we're going to be using for this video, I just want to let you know with a fair warning, you're going to accumulate a lot of clutter in your photo library. Personally speaking, I'm going to have my original photo, my edited photo, then my edited photo with the white border, and that's too many similar photos. So I highly recommend using Gemini Photos to clear this problem out. Gemini Photos is an iOS app that uses AI software to help you declutter your photo library of similar photos, blurry photos, screenshots, or anything unwanted. It separates them all out to different buckets so you can go in, select what you want to delete or keep, and keep that notification of storage is almost full at bay so you can never miss a photo. So I highly recommend using Gemini Photos. There's a download link in the description. So go ahead and download that. Okay, so all the apps we're gonna be using today are all free, which is super awesome. So the first one we're gonna be working with is called Snapseed. So go on ahead and open up Snapseed, load up your own photo, I have mine right here. Go to the bottom area and click Tools and look for the tool called Expand. It should be in the second row, smack dab in the middle. Click Expand and there's three buckets down below, which is Smart, White, or Black. Go ahead and click White and now you can drag out your white borders to see what kind of aspect ratio you want. If you don't like to independently control it, you could actually put both of your thumbs on the screen and it'll spread them out proportionally just like that. And you could go all the way to the edges. You can keep it really nice and tight. So I'll keep it mm, right in the middle right there. Click check. That looks pretty good to me. It's nice and minimal. The white space isn't too distracting for this example at least. So I'm gonna click export, uh, the last option, export, and then I'm good to go. Okay, so the next app we're gonna be using is called Photoshop Express. So go ahead and pull that up, load up your own photo, and on the toolbar section down below, swipe all the way to the end, click on borders, and then click see all. Now when you click see all, all of these white borders are gonna pull up. So you have bevel, you have thin, you have circle if you wanna get creative like that, vertical strip, horizontal strip, vertical, all that stuff. So you can go ahead and mess around with that. I'm gonna go with horizontal border because there is a little bit of a vertical gap on my photo, but there's also a little bit of a gutter on either side of my photo as well. So I'm going to save that by clicking the export button, which is at the top right. Export, camera roll, and now I'm done. Next on up is Lightroom Mobile, a super powerful tool for any mobile photographer on the go. Go ahead, click that, load up your photo on the bottom toolbar again, scroll all the way to the end until you see geometry. Once you see geometry, scroll down just a little bit more until you see scale, and then it starts to go to the left, and then you start to see those white borders pop out. I'm gonna make this a little bit more minimal and allow more negative space, so I'm going to make it a little bit more tinier, and that looks pretty nice and minimal. It also kind of condenses down all the pixels so it looks a little bit more sharper and saturated. I like that. Check and it is all good and saved. The last app is actually my top favorite one. It's called InShot so go ahead pull that up also free. Click on photo. Click on the photo that you want to load up and here's where it gets really nice. So go ahead and click canvas and Instagram's largest crop is four by five. So go ahead, click four by five down here, and then you saw the white border kind of expand. Now click on zoom, and what I like to do is always go to negative seven. Negative seven is really nice, I'll just do that, and then I will save right there. You can also make squared canvases. You can make a nine by 16 for your Instagram stories, and your zoom will allow you to create as much negative space or fill up the frame as much as you want. So if you want Instagram story, go to nine by 16. If you want to post and take up as much screen real estate as possible, go four by five. So I'll go four by five and do a negative seven value right here. That's my personal preference. And then export, and then I'm done. All these apps are super free and super easy to use. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video.